Hello everybody and welcome back to my Houston Texans Slow Sim franchise. We're at the end of week four after our surprise victory last week. And as you can see in the standings, we are two and two in our division. And just by looking at the division standings, it looks like we'll probably be in for a dogfight, even if we are able to compete for uh, a playoff position this year. As even the Tennessee Titans are net are having a net positive in points so far this season uh so you know two and two is good enough for last place in our division so far taking a look at the results from last week we had the browns being the ravens 40 to 34 in a high scoring shootout mm -hmm. in a key game between two of the upper tier teams in the afc in the afc uh last season the Cowboys getting getting back to their winning ways. The defending Super Bowl champions, 34 to 24 at Cincinnati to go to three and one. And the surprising Jets, a team we beat in week one, managed to tie the Buffalo Bills 24 to 24. We also have the surprising Carolina Panthers being our next opponent, 38 to 17. To go to, to go to three zero oh, and one, and the Packers, who went pretty deep in the playoffs last year, lose their first game of the season, twenty seven to seventeen. The Cardinals in the NFC, another surprising team, goes to four and zero, oh, beating the Patriots twenty three to ten. And finally, of course, on Monday Night Football, we won fourteen to ten against the Indianapolis Colts. As I mentioned earlier. Our next game is, is against the New York Giants. We play at home, and we're actually a two-point favorite in that game. Let's take a quick look at the Giants and what they've done so far this year. As you can see by their team stats, pretty mediocre so far. They're mediocre in offensive and defensive pass uh, rankings. Uh, haven't gotten many turnovers on defense. So pretty middle of the road in terms of their offensive and defensive output so far this year. One key note, though, is one of their top players, Andrew Thomas, the left tackle, is going to be out for the game. He has broken ribs. So that's something that's, that's uh, I think, that's some good fortune for us in our next game. Taking a quick look at this, the Giants' schedule so far and what they've done. They lost to the Bengals in week one, 26-34, which is not an easy game to play, obviously. Uh, they did win their next two games at home, beating the Buccaneers and the Commanders. And then, of course, as I mentioned, they did lose last week in Carolina, 38-17. to Players of the week, Lamar Jackson shows up again with four touchdowns and 310 yards passing. Quentin Williams, the defensive tackle for the Jets, got five, ta five sacks. That's kind of crazy. Bryce Young having a good year so far for the Panthers, going 25 of 38 for 321 yards and five touchdowns. And Chase Young for the Commanders, getting three sacks himself. So those were the players of the week. Now let's go ahead and go in game and get ready for our game against the New York Giants. All right, we're in game. Um, first of all, our injury list continues to grow. Let's take a look at our injury report. We now have Shaq Mason out again with a high ankle sprain. We also have uh, another linebacker injured. So we're going to have to make sure, go on our depth charts and make sure we have, no, we have enough players. I do believe we're going to have to possibly sign a linebacker off of our practice squad. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's see, I think we'll, Elijah Malone will, will give us some depth that, we, that we're that we going to need just at least for this week. And we'll have to demote a player. Let's take a look at the cornerback position. I think maybe we can afford to downgrade a cornerback. Yes, we have five corners. I don't think we need five corners. Uh, I think we'll send Alex 
Austin back to the practice squad. All right, so let's go. We can go ahead and go to our depth charts now and make sure our depth charts are correct. We'll take a look at the offensive line first. And particularly the guard and center positions. So we have Kendrick Green and Kenyon Green who are neck and neck there. So I think we're fine at left guard. Center, we have Connor McGovern. So that's two, two centers. And at right guard, we have Kenyon Green. So we have a total of, of five guards and centers. So I think we should be fine there. Um, let's just make sure that we have... Yeah, let's put Brandon Kinney as the third back, third guard here. Hopefully we don't need that. And let's go ahead and check out our linebacker positions here. Dominic Kelly, our starter, of course. So we have Elijah Malone up here. We'll move him up. I should say we'll set him third. And then at right outside linebacker, we have Tyson Bowser. Let's make sure Malone's here in the depth chart here. And then middle linebacker, we still have two middle linebackers. So I think we're we're gonna be fine there. Just want to put somebody in fourth here. We'll put Elijah Malone here in the fourth position. And that should that should do it for that, for those positions. We also have 62 staff points, uh, which I think is enough for an upgrade. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so last time I had wanted to, I was kind of looking ahead a little bit and wanting to up upgrade this game plan which is boosting play recognition for our cornerbacks for basically our secondary so i'm gonna go ahead and purchase that that's 54 staff points there there we go got a nice upgrade there all right i think that's gonna do it i'm not gonna worry about renegotiating this week or scouting uh, I, I, I've been kind of looking at it offline, but we'll take a closer look at the draft in the coming weeks. So let's go, go ahead and go in our game and see if we can beat the New York Giants. All right, we're ready for kickoff. We're at home. Texas getting the ball first. And that is going to be out of the end zone for a touchback as Stroud comes onto the field. Stroud staying away from the interceptions, unlike last year, which is good. Good to see that improvement in him so far. So this will be first down at the 25-yard line for the Texans. They give us the Pierce. It is a loose three yards as Lawrence disrupts the run in the backfield. Be second down and 13. The Marcus Lawrence is going to be a problem in this game as he's already triggered his X factor. Stroud back to throw. And hey, that's going to be picked off by Ken as Wallace, the linebacker, I believe, for the Giants. And that is not a good start for Stroud. I guess I gave him the. The juju there, as as soon as I said he didn't throw an interception all year, he throws an interception, attempting to throw a pass to Watkins. Could be first down at the eight yard line. And Barkley gets his first carry. This could be for four yards. It's gonna be second down and goal.
Jones back to throw and it is caught but not much gain there maybe a yard and that's going to be third down and goal now at the three yard line let's see if the Texans can hold him here Jones back to throw he can't find anybody he throws it to the tight end but that's going to be incomplete as the Texas defense stiffened up and it's going to be fourth down and goal I imagine the, the, the Giants are going to kick a field goal here and it is good and it is 3 nothing Giants Giants come out in a shotgun Jones back to throw he throws it towards the sidelines and it is caught as Waller, yeah, he got about five yards. Second down and five now as the Giants come out in eye formation with Barkley in the backfield. Barkley gets the handoff and he's near the first down marker, but he, they're going to say he's short. It's going to be third down in inches. And the Giants come out in a shotgun. Jones throws and it is incomplete as Stingley was able to make the, make a play on the ball and now it's going to be fourth down and inches. Let's see if the Giants go for it here. They, they're going to punt. And that's going to go out of bounds well, it's gonna be a touchback so it's gonna be at the 20 yard line for the Texans now as Pierce comes out as a lone running back and Stroud's under center Pierce they would get four yards on the on his first down carry it's be second down and six at the 24 yard line as the Texans now line up in the I formation Texans need to hurry up. Pierce with the hand up up the middle gets about a yard. It's to be third down and three. Stroud in the shotgun. Quick throw and that is going to be caught. That is Jordan with the catch for a first down. So Texas able to keep the drive alive. First down and 10. Pierce the lone running back in the backfield. And the handoff is to Pierce as he gets a couple. Yeah, second down and eight. Pierce with the carry once again. Not much doing. It's to be third down and five. Stroud back to throw. And that is going to be incomplete. As intended for Pierce, he was beyond the first down marker, but he couldn't quite hang on to it. And so the Texas offense continues to struggle so far in this game as they're going to have to punt it once again. And that is fair caught at the 13 yard line. Jones back to throw. And that is off the mark. As Shaquille Griffin was on the pass defense. It's going to be second down and 10. Jones back to throw. And that is another incomplete pass. Off the mark there of his intended receiver. It's the third down and ten now. Defense, 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 
Jones back to throw. He's getting pressure, and he's going to go down. That is Will Anderson Jr. And that's going to be a 14-yard loss. Could be another first and down at the 37 yard line. Pierce with the handoff, and he gets nailed after getting a couple yards. That is Wallace on the tackle. That is to be second down and eight at the 35 yard line. Stroud play action. And that is almost picked off. He was intended that that pass was intended for Nico Collins, but it's a little bit off the mark. Third down and eight now. Stroud back to throw. And that is off the mark as well. And that may bring on the field goal unit. It's gonna be a 52 yard field goal by Fairborn. And it is good. Fairbond with a 52-yard field goal. Get down in one. For the Giants. Barkley with Barkley has some room. He might go all the way for a touchdown. I don't think anybody's gonna catch him, but somebody does catch him at the two-yard line. Barkley was a nice run there. Caught the Texans defense sleeping. I believe that was Ward that was able to catch up catch up to him. But that's gonna be a first down for the Giants at the two yard line. Pitch to Gray on the outside, but he cannot get in. That's gonna be no gain. That's going to be second down and goal now for the Giants. As Gray remains in the backfield, as Barkley still on the sideline for taking a break from that last big run. Jones back to throw, and he throws it way ahead of his receiver. It's going to be third down and goal now. Correction, that was Petrie that caught up to Barkley on that run. Giants come out in high formation. Another pitch to Gray, and he's going to be swarmed, and he's going to take a big loss there as the Texans once again are able to prevent the Giants from getting in the end zone. And so the Giants... They're going to have to settle for another field goal attempt here after having the ball first and goal in the two-yard line. And it is good, and it is 6-3 Giants. Jones back to throw, and that is caught. That's a first down at the 41-yard line. That is Slayton, his first catch, good for 11 yards. Jones throws it to Barkley on a wheel route. And he's tackled immediately after catching it to be second down and two. Clock still running. Jones to throw. And that is caught. Nice Slayton once again. That's going to be another first down at the 47 yard line. Giants still have all three timeouts remaining, so they're, they're taking their time here. Jones set up the screen as Barkley's only able to get six yards at time as we second down and four Giants call timeout. Jones to throw but that was a bad pass towards the flat. That's going to make it third down and four. Jones with another screen to Gray this time. 
And he's able to get beyond the first down marker. The clock's going to continue to run unless the Giants call a timeout here. And they do. So there's going to be 32 seconds left. Giants still have one timeout remaining. As they have the ball at the 33-yard line. Jones back to throw. Can't find anybody, but he's going to take off and run. And he has a first down, but the clock's going to continue to run. And Giants throw a quick pass as the clock is a factor, and that's going to be incomplete with only four seconds left. So the Giants are going to kick a field goal here. And that is good as the Giants increase their lead 9 to 3 into the first half with the Giants leading 9 to 3. So the Giants will receive the kickoff for the second half. As that is out the end zone. Play action by Jones. He can't find anybody and he's got to throw it away as the Texans had a couple defenders looming in on him. The second down and 10. Play action by Jones. And he gets pressure right away. He fumbles the ball. And Will Anderson, I think, drops, uh, recovers the fumble. And he does. And that is a big break for the Texans. As they're going to get a first down at the 11-yard line. That was Sheldon Rankins who initially tackled Jones. And Anderson is able to recover the fumble. So big break for the Texans here as their offense needs it. Texans come out in eye formation with Pierce as the running back. And that is nowhere. And that's going to be a three-yard loss. As the Giants were parked in the backfield of the Texans on that run. Stroud in the shotgun. He can't find anybody. And he's going to go down once again. That is Thibodeau this time. As Stroud felt pressure immediately. And that's going to make it third down in 24 now. Stroud to throw. And he throws towards the corner to Dell, but that is going to be incomplete. It was off the mark. And disappointing series there for the offense once again as the Texans got to attempt a field goal here. This will be a 42-yard attempt by Fairbarn. And that is good. And... The Texans at least are able to cut the lead, cut into the Giants' lead. And it is 9-6 in a field goal heavy game so far. Neither team able to score a touchdown so far. As this is going to be returned. Back to the 25 yards. A couple people miss. Play action, and that is going to be sack, another sack for Thibodeau. And Stroud, as soon as he faked the handoff, he had somebody in his face. And 
as the Texans offensive line has had trouble blocking these the defensive line of the Giants. Second down and 18 now as Stroud is in the shotgun. Stroud throws it and that's going to be caught and that is Watkins finally with his first catch of the game. He has struggled in this game so far but that this one this one goes for 25 yards. So first down now for the Texans at the 34 yard line. Harris gets the handoff. He has some room to the right side. Unable to get past the, the linebacker. That was Banks. And it's going to be second down and five. Stroud back to throw. He has Watkins in the in the flat. And that's going to be enough for the first down. So Watkins with two catches this drive after having no catches the, the rest of the game. Texas now have it at the 24-yard line. Stroud back to throw. And that is almost picked off. As Stroud was feeling some pressure. Second down and 10. Stroud in the shotgun. Stroud to throw. He finds Nico Collins up the middle. And that's going to be good for nine yards. It's going to be third down and one. He's a yard short of the first down. Pierce goes in motion. Stroud throws it to Pierce and he's, he's in the flat. That's a good for a first down. Jordan, I should say, not Peterson. That is Jordan, the backup tight end, who's taken the place of Schultz, who got hurt earlier in the game. It's going to be first down and goal for the Texans. Pierce in the I formation. Play action by Stroud. And he's going to throw it out the back of the end zone. Second down and goal. Eye formation once again with Pierce as the back, as the running back. Up the middle and Pierce has a touchdown. The Texans finally able to get into the end zone. And the Texans are going to take their first lead of the game. Fairborn with the extra point. And it is good, and it is 13 to 9, Texans. Stroud gives it to Peterson, who fights his way all the way for a first down. That's a tough five yard run there. As Pearson appears to be shaking, shaking up now, or Richardson, I should say, the backup running back for the Texans, and he goes to the locker room. But the Texans do have a first down now at the 46-yard line. Pierce gets the handoff, and he fights his way for about three yards at, to the 43-yard line. He's going to be second down and seven. Pierce gets the handoff, and he gets hit hard. About three yards short of the first down. It's going to be third down and three as the clock is winding down in the third quarter. Stroud throws, and that is incomplete as Collins had it for a second there. So that's going to be fourth down and three. Let's see if the Texans go for it here. They're not. They're going to kick. They're going to punt the ball here. Not sure I agree with this decision. 
And that's going to be out the end zone. That's going to be a touchback in the end zone. So the Giants now have it first down and 10 at the 20-yard line with Barkley to loan back in the backfield. Barkley gets the handoff up the middle, and he's going to get a good chunk of yardage there, 16 yards. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter with the Texans leading it 13-9. Jones drops back to throw, and he can't find He's going to get sacked by that Sheldon Rankins, I believe. He felt immediate pressure. That's going to make it second down and 17 for the Giants. Barkley with the handoff, but he has nowhere to go. No gain. That's going to make it third down and 17 as Bowser comes up with the tackle. Jones, he gets pressure right away, and the Texans get another sack. As the fifth sack for the Texans, and the Giants are going to have to punt once again. Key first down for the Texans offense there, as the Texans come out in high formation. Stroud to throw, and that is caught by Watkins for a short gain. That's going to be a three-yard gain. As Stroud comes out in the shotgun. Stroud to throw. He finds Watkins. Watkins is still running. He's did a 10. He's going to score. And what a run after the catch from Mike Watkins, who started out with a very slow game. He's able to take a short pass and take it all the way for a touchdown. What a play by the rookie. As Fairborn is going to attempt the extra point. And that is good. And that makes it 20 to 9 Texans. Jones to throw. He throws it out in the flat. Barkley makes a guy miss and he's able to get past the, the sticks for a first down. So first down for the Giants now at the 33 yard line. Jones back to throw. And he finds his receiver complete for eight yards. The second down and two at the 25 yard line. That was Slayton with the reception. And there's some movement along the offensive line. Let's see if this is a false start. It, it, it is. That's going to make it second down and seven. Jones throws. Short gain is to be a third down and five. Jones can't find anybody. He throws it, and that is caught. That is a first down all the way to the seven yard line. That is Waller once again. Jones back to throw. He's scrambling, and he has to throw it away as he's feeling. Pressure once again from the Texans defense. Second down and goal at the seven. Jones to throw. He has Barkley with the screen pass, but he cannot get in the end zone. He's all the way down to the two yard line. This can be third down and goal. Jones to throw. He throws towards the end zone, and that is caught for a touchdown, I believe. That is Hod 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 Hodgins. That 
Let's see if he kept both feet in bounds. I believe he did. They might review this. Or maybe not. The Giants are going to go for two here. Jones to throw. He throws it to the sidelines and incomplete. As Perryman is able to make a play on the pass. And that's going to keep it 20 to 15 Texans. So the Giants are going to kick it off here. Still having three timeouts and the two minute warning. So let's see if the Texans offense can close this out. Pierce gets the handoff. He has to run to the outside. And he's going to have a first down. At the 37 yard line. As the two minute warning is going to approach. Let's see if the Giants are going to use the timeout. No they will not. So Texas come out nine formation. Giants still have three timeouts remaining. Pierce with the handoff once again. He's tackled in the backfield by Thibodeau. The Giants, of course, use a timeout here. It's gonna be second down and eleven. And Stroud's tackled before he's even able to make the handoff. The Marcus Lawrence with a, just a crazy defensive play there. Third down and 15. And Pierce has some room in the backfield. It actually gets past the line of scrimmage, but that's going to be fourth down. Giants use a timeout. Giants don't have any timeouts remaining now as the punt is made. Let's see if and it's going to bounce into the end zone. So Giants have 1 minute 42 seconds left. No timeouts remaining, however. Jones back to throw. He has an open receiver. And that is a first down at the 37-yard line. Clock continues to run. Jones back to throw. He has Barkley. In the flat. This will be second down and four. Did he get out of bounds though? As Barkley is a little slow to get up. They're going to say he did get out of bounds unfortunately. So it's, the clock's going to stop. Jones back to throw. He feels some heat but he's able to get the throw off. That is caught as well. But Campbell was not able to get out of bounds. So the clock continues to run. With under a minute remaining. Jones back, back to throw. He finds Barkley. The Barkley is the clock's going to continue to run. Thirty seconds now. Jones back to throw, and he's going to get sacked. That is Perryman. That is a big sack for the Texans as the clock, as the Giants cannot stop the clock. Jones back to throw, and he's going to throw it out of bounds. And so now the Giants are going to have a fourth down and 13 with only seven seconds remaining and no timeouts. So it's going to come down to this play here. Texans can win the game right here. Jones back to throw. He throws and it is incomplete and the Texans are going to win their second game in a row. Not a perfect game for the Texans, but they come out with the victory. All right, so we get our second straight victory, 20 to 15 over the Giants. Our defense coming up big time once again for the second consecutive week. We traditionally haven't had to rely on our defense, but our offense has been struggling. 
Uh, and it's good to see our defense helping out uh, when our offense has been struggling. Uh, the stats, third down conversions, I like to look at. Our One thing about our defense, you know, has been giving up a lot of third down conversions. I think we, should, we saw improvement in that, you know, holding the Giants to 5 of 14 is, is, is definitely an improvement, I think. Uh, our red zone defense, of course, was the key thing in the game, holding the Giants to three field goals in the first half, with the Giants being very close to the end zone on many occasions. Uh, so that was a big factor in this game as well. Stroud having a, an average game. He did have the big 63-yard touchdown pass that was key at the, towards the end of the game. He did throw his first interception of the season. That's going to happen. Uh, so there's that. Um, looking at the run game, Barkley's going to get his yards. He, he, you know, he did have that long 46-yard run. Besides that, I think he was held in check pretty well by our defense. Pierce not having a stellar game as he's had the last couple weeks. Uh, but the Giants defensive, you know, defensive line is pretty good, so uh, not entirely surprising there. But with that, let's go back to the game. Make sure there's nothing for us to take care of after the game. We did get an injury after, you know, during the game. Of course, injuries are going to be a concern, obviously. Uh, Jared Patterson seems to be injured again. I believe he was injured earlier in the season, so we have to keep an eye on that. He you know, see if he's an in, he's be a you know an injury you know injury prone. Um, Richardson as well. What well, Richardson is the one that actually got hurt in this game. Uh, so. We now have two running backs who are out. Luckily, Pierce isn't one of them. But we're probably going to have to look at signing another running back to account for these injuries in the backfield. But we'll do that next time. Thanks again for watching. We're now 3-2. and two. Be sure and like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know how you think it's going. And I'll see you next time.